Hello YouTube, this is Shiva Sapkota. Uh, we are going to be talking about the latest Tesla update today, the 2020.12.6. It recognizes stop light and stop signs and it automatically stops for us. So we're going to take it on a test drive and then see how it behaves, what lessons that we learn and what things that Tesla needs to improve on. Uh, if you're new here, I make weekly technology videos. Uh, uh, including Tesla, Solar, and many other technology products. So please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified on my future videos. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you. I appreciate your support. And let's take it for a drive. So we just got the 2020.12.6. We're going to see the release note. And in the release note, it says it has the traffic stop sign uh, control beta. So this is still in a beta version. Uh, it is supposed to recognize the stop sign and then it is supposed to stop at the stop sign as well as the traffic light. Just know that it stops at all traffic lights at this point. So regardless of if it is green or red, it will stop at those traffic lights. Um, to enable, we'll, we'll, we'll see how to enable that in a little bit. And then uh, it just says the dash cam viewer. Now to enable it, we go over here and we go to right here. So it says traffic light and stop sign control. You have to turn this on. And when you turn it on for the first time, it tells you like a disclaimer of what it is. And then you turn it on. Mm -hmm. So there's a red light coming in in 400 feet and it's saying it'll stop. I'm not doing anything. And it stopped. There's a little red line right over here. It says autopilot unable to proceed, please take over. No idea what that is, so I had to take over. That was weird, I don't know why. Because it's a straight lane. I should have been able to proceed. There is a stop sign coming in over here. Let's see if it'll stop. It says stopping for traffic control in 300 feet. And it stopped. I'm gonna give it a little notch for it to go. And it worked perfectly. Wow. This is the first iteration of Tesla's stop sign awareness and so far over there it says, I don't know why it says autopilot takeover, but uh, here it says in 500 feet, as you see, there's a traffic signal coming in. What you need to do is give it a little notch on the acceleration and it will keep going because it's a green light. It says it will stop in 400 feet. I'm going to give you a little notch. There you go. I told Tesla not to stop and it didn't stop. There is going to be a thought that was a stop sign but it is not so it took it away very quickly there is a stop sign coming in right over here and it says stopping in 100 feet and it did so we're gonna give it a little push and it will go huh it is stopped for no reason here. There was no stop sign at all. So some work that needs to be done, Tesla. So it says 600 feet. I do see one that's all the way over there that is hidden. It completely stopped. We look. And it took off out of autopilot for some reason. So there is going to be a, a stop light at that major intersection over there. And it says in 600 feet, it's going to stop for the stop light. And it did. It's going to 
this desktop. Let's see what happens when it turns green, if it's gonna tell me anything. Oh, it says autopilot unable to proceed. Please take over. I don't know why. It just told me to take over again. Maybe because the lane markings are a little fuzzy over here because this is downhill, but told me to take over immediately. Some kind of a timeout, I don't know. It's stopping in 600 feet. but it's stopping for that car at this point. Last time I was coming from the other side and it told me to take over immediately because autopilot couldn't, uh, couldn't proceed. Let's see what it says this time around. tell me it seemed like it was following that car that's why it didn't tell me to take over immediately so now 600 feet there's a stop sign over there it sees the stop sign and it stops Let's let that car go it says use the accelerator. We just have to give it a little notch on the acceleration and it goes. It almost, rec so it recognized that one and it started slowing down, but then it realized quickly that it was on a stop sign. one is a stop sign and it stops now we just use the acceleration gear this is a little neighborhood where there is a there is a stop sign over here and this is traffic over cruise control because I don't I can't turn on autopilot over here so let's go pretty slow 15 miles per hour there's a stop sign right there and it's saying it will stop. Wow, and this is not an autopilot. This is just traffic or cruise control. Just as an experiment, I put a fake stop sign right in front of my house over there. And let's see if it reacts to that fake stop sign and if it stops. Turn on the traffic or cruise control at 10 miles per hour. Stopping at 200 feet for the stop sign and that it is stopped and that is a fake stop sign that I put in front of my house. So it even stops at those. So it's truly recognizing by picture, by visuals, which stop is a traffic light, not necessarily just through GPS. So we took it out for a drive and then learned a few things uh, with this update. It does a pretty good job, I have to admit, on recognizing that it is a, it's a stop sign or if it's a stop light, it recognizes. What it does is it just stops at all stop signs and stop light, right? Regardless of if it's green or red. So that's kind of annoying that you are always going to, right now in this stage, that you're going to have to press the acceleration every single time that the car stops, which is at every single intersection. But other than that, I think it does a really good job of recognizing that they are intersection. A couple things I learned are when you are in an intersection and the red light is too long, um, it seems to have some kind of a timeout, right? So it stops for the red light. And then if it is too long before it turns green that you give it a little nut, that it says take over immediately. Even though like clear lane markings and everything, Whereas I, I tested the same thing behind a car where that car is stopped and it doesn't do that. It doesn't say take over immediately. So that was that was something interesting. And there seemed to be some kind of a timeout on there. Um, the stop signs, it, it seemed to also recognize not just the stop signs, but also, you know, one of those where it says there is a stop sign ahead. 
so it is a yellow background um, with the with the red octagon but it doesn't say stop you know it says stop sign in like 200 feet it seemed to think that that is the stop sign so it started slowing down on me a couple times thinking that it was a stop sign but it took it away very quickly it, it kind of saw that it was a stop sign but it wasn't and then it, it corrected its mistake right away by uh, by getting rid of that notice on my screen so that was really good I tried it with just the traffic over cruise control so not turning on autopilot and just using the the cruise control and it did stop at both the stop lights and the stop signs just using the traffic over cruise control uh, other than that I think I think it's great that what they have done so it is finally great to see some of those features feature control version of Elon Musk's um, full self-driving coming to fruitation at this point and things that we were promised a couple years ago are finally now happening so this is exciting um, with the sentry mode viewer update last week and then the the FSD update this week um, it is it is pretty awesome to see the progress on this and I am excited to um, bring this and show you to you guys what what the, the new update looks like please subscribe to my channel if you are um, if you haven't already so that uh, you will be notified on my future videos also it means the world to me uh, it doesn't cost you anything um, uh, if you are a returning subscriber again I really appreciate your time everyone watching this video thank you so much please comment below on things that I can improve on or what other videos that you would like to see in the future um, and give, you the thumbs up, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful uh, that is it for today's video we'll see you in the next video thank you